So you've made it to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. You've got a car, you've got a sponsor, you've got a team. You've been practicing those four corners for a week. You know every inch of this place. You basically see it in your dreams. All that is great, but you still haven't made it into the Indianapolis 500. You still have to qualify. Qualifying for the Indy 500 is unlike anything else on the IndyCar schedule. Now on day one, each car is guaranteed one qualifying attempt, but we're gonna be setting the grid for positions 13 to 30. Lock yourself in, breathe a sigh of relief. If you're fast enough, and that is a big if, you might find yourself in the top 12. And in that case, you'll have another go tomorrow to make a run for the pole position. But if you find yourself in the bottom four, your night goes from relief to restless. Sunday, we start with the top 12. If you've made it this far, it's time to see if you can push it that little bit further and secure yourself a spot in the Firestone Fast Six. One run, positions seven through 12 are set. On the other hand, if you landed in the bottom four on day one, you'll be facing the last chance qualifying. It's your last chance to see if you're fast enough to get you and your car into the field of 33. You're fighting for the last row, but more realistically, you're fighting for your whole year. It truly is a go big or get bumped and go home proposition. Now the position seven through 33 are set, it's time for the Firestone Fast Six pole shootout. If you're one of the fastest six cars, you get one run, one chance for the pole, and the opportunity to lead the field to the green flag and the greatest spectacle in racing. So how do you do it? Each qualifying run is four laps, 10 miles, 16 turns, all flat out. Sounds simple, unless your car feels like it's floating, and the only thing that may bring relief is lifting. But lifting isn't an option. Yet the truly great thing about qualifying for the Indy 500, it isn't the speeds, it isn't the crowds, it isn't the prestige. It's that for those 10 miles, it doesn't matter where you're from, what you've done before, or how well-funded your team is. It's just, are you fast enough? Don't miss the PPG Presents Armed Forces Qualifying this weekend. And tune in on Sunday, May 28th for the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500 presented by GameBridge.